So where we go, it's Portsmouth who kick this FA Cup tie off. And Norris already, oh, it's deflected off Will Gregg. And what a, a big, big chase there for Will Norris, the goalkeeper. It's almost a disastrous start to the match there for Portsmouth. Just watch this and how lucky he is that the ball bounced sideways rather than back towards his own goal. Danny Lane, few appeals that the ball had gone out of play, not so says the uh, referee. Here's Angerin for Portsmouth. Paddy Lane with the first shot of the afternoon from the visiting side. It was a decent one as well. Lane just dropping back into that space. Will Grigg chasing here up against Regan Paul. Oh, and Paul's been sent tumbling to the ground. Banks with the shot. Norris makes the save from Ollie Banks. But it's a heavy-looking fall there for Regan Paul, the Portsmouth defender who's left holding his knee on the ground. Tyra's clearance is a long one, and he finds Michael Jacobs here. Into Banks once more, away from Morrell, and not far wide of the post. Chesterfield carrying a real threat when they venture forward. And Banks, who scored three in the last two matches before today. Angerin once more. Portsmouth still searching to get back on level terms before the break. Lane again against Horton. Oh, could stop there. Sharply down at the near post, Harry Tyra. And the Everton Loney with a big stop. Mandeville sends it in. Naylor's there! Chesterfield make the breakthrough and Tom Naylor scores against his former team. Pinpoint delivery and just ahead of the goalkeeper, Will Norris. Chesterfield won, Portsmouth nil, 32 minutes played. Tussle there, Shaughnessy. Here comes Angerin. Plenty of Portsmouth players in and around the penalty area. Bishop with the header. Comfortable save. Hasn't had much to work with in the first half, and not much by way of opportunity, Colby Bishop. Mandeville's throw. Jacobs. Surrounded, but certainly not dispossessed, Michael Jacobs. Reflection carrying it over the top of the bar, but could easily have looped over Norris into the back of the net. Joe Morrell for Portsmouth. Still just a one-goal game. Here comes Lane, just trying his luck on the near side now. Oh, it was a chance for the substitute, Kamara. Abu Kamara completely unmarked here. The more Portsmouth chase, the more occasionally there is an opportunity for Chesterfield. Well, oh, there's some tired legs out there. Old Acre sending it across. Here's Ryan Colclough with a chance to find the back of the net. Good challenge by Swanson at the last moment. Old Acre with the pass. And Colclough, fresh legs. Finding the side netting. Colclough once more, faced by Swanson. Oh, hands on deck here for Portsmouth as they try to hold Chesterfield at bay. And now it's James Berry, the substitute. Oh, big save there by Norris, and it needed to be to keep it at 1-0. Berry's effort well saved.